Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another vlog. I accidentally forgot to start this vlog like yesterday. I was not going to vlog the morning, I was just going to vlog the afternoon because I was going to get my hair done. But then because I hadn't been vlogging the morning, I forgot to take my camera out. So I was really, really dumb. So I'm just going to narrate what happened and then we'll get into the actual vlog. Because I did start filming it from about like one in the afternoon maybe. But basically I woke up yesterday and my friend Amelia has the actual cutest dog. So we went to visit the dog and I'm going to insert a really short clip of this puppy that is is the cutest thing ever. Um, so that is what we did first. Me and Harry went to see my friend Amelia and her puppy. So yeah, that was that. And then I was about to go and get my hair cut. Nothing else really happened in between and I also didn't have time to come back and get my camera. But I did vlog the day as normal from this point. So I'm just gonna let the vlog play and I'm sorry that it started a little bit out of sequence. I just thought it's better that I actually do narrate it to start off with so that you guys get a little bit of context for what is going on. So without further ado, this is me getting my hair cut and dyed, ready for university and also going out for dinner with my boyfriend and his parents. So yeah, subscribe if you're new, give it a thumbs up and let's get into the vlog. So I'm about to go into the hairdressers, completely forgot to bring my camera which is why you've just seen the intro filmed with my new hair. Um, but I've probably like kept it quiet or whatever. So we're in town now and I'm about to go to the hairdressers But first I'm just popping into the bank because I like have some stuff to do I'm so sorry that the quality is lower I'm just gonna have to film this bit on my phone until we get back home. Okay, so I've just popped into the bank It's actually really windy. Um, I'm so annoyed. That I forgot my camera. Who am I? Um, but basically head into the hairdressers and what I'm gonna get done is like I've probably already explained this But I want it cutting like back to almost bob length and then dyeing a lot blonder Like when I had it dyed blonde the first time I was kind of like oh, I really like this But I still want it lighter because it was more of like a, a warm blonde when I really really want like a Almost ashy blonde like not white blonde, but just to be blonder which is daft I know because like for winter people usually go darker but whatever um so yeah it's so like my university haircut um, i hate vlogging on my phone okay i'm at my hairdressers now i'm with my mum um and my hairdressers are called romeo and juliet so i've shouted them out quite a lot because they're really good so we're just going in and i'm actually a little bit early i'm never early to anything Okay, I now have my camera back, which is a good thing because my mum went home to get it for me because she basically dropped me off at the hairdressers because I didn't know how long I was going to be. She, I wouldn't have been able to park anywhere. Unpaid video. Unpaid video, she just said. Um, and I'm not going to show you my hair properly until I'm home, even though you can kind of already see it. But in this Tesco lighting, it does look a bit odd. Um, but basically, I was at the hairdressers for just over three hours, was I? And now we're just getting some drink because tonight I'm actually going out with Tom and his parents and my mum and dad are coming too, so is my brother. Um, and then afterwards so they're coming like to our house to have some drinks so we're just getting some alcohol. Um, and then yes, I'm going to talk to you more about my hair when I get back because obviously now I've had it like re-dyed, got a bit of a new, well not new, but updated hair care routine and I need to style it and then I'm going to show you it because I feel like right now it, it looks really nice and it feels amazing but it does look a bit flat. In the car i feel like you actually can't tell a difference on camera that much i'm not sure actually yeah maybe you can i am gonna wait until i've styled it to like show you the back and stuff um but okay um no it's all right um yeah basically i spent three hours in the hairdressers the numpty that i am forgot my vlogging camera because i haven't vlogged for two days so i just forgot to bring it with me but i think it was okay in the end because i vlogged on my phone a bit but we are going out this evening as i already said i don't think i have mentioned in this vlog actually that i do have a bit of a cold so like i've had a headache all day and i can't really breathe out my nose and like, i've got a bit of a sore throat although i took some cold and flu tablets and to be fair that did kind of get rid of my sore throat um but i still can't really breathe and i have a headache so i'm gonna try and have a nap when i get in um to see if i can like just feel a bit more recharged before i go out for dinner because we're going to this really nice restaurant and it's just gonna be like should be really nice actually i've been once before um it's called burt's it's in hull and it's also in bronze burton which is like a village kind of near me um neither of them are too close to home so it's not somewhere that i go like often what is that reflecting oh my god that's my necklace can you see that 
That's dazzling. But yeah, so I spent all afternoon pretty much in the hairdressers. My hairdresser, Kirsty, bless her, she must hate it when I go into the hairdressers because it takes so long. Um, however, I'm very happy with the end result. I'll show you when I've styled it and I'll tell you like how I'm going to look after it and stuff and like what they used because when I do these vlogs where I dye my hair or like I go to the hairdressers, I always end up with so many questions about like what shampoo I use, what, what like conditioner I use and all that kind of jazz. So yeah, I will inform you when I am home and I have sorted it out a little bit more. I am now back home. I've just had a little nap, but I can never really actually sleep when I nap, so I just laid down for a bit. Still don't feel amazing, but I do feel a bit better. My sore throat has kind of gone. I've just got a bit of like a stuffy head now. Do you know when you've got like, not really a cold, but you just feel a bit like, to be honest, I think I've brought it on myself. I stressed myself out all week. However, um, now I'm going to curl my hair and I'm very excited to see what it looks like curled because obviously you guys can't really see. I'm going to show you it from the back now, although the light here isn't amazing. But basically, I've just had it trimmed a little bit and lightened up so you guys can see at the back that it is actually quite a little bit, well, quite a little bit, quite a bit lighter. I've had it just basically, wasn't to be like as drastic as last time, it was just to re-dye it, take the yellow out of it, get it looking healthier and have a trim before I went to university, basically. And I'm really happy with it. My hair just always does a very, very good job. So right now, I'm going to curl it. So cue the time up. it and I love it so much more now like look ah! I used to absolutely hate the fact that my hair went kind of wider like here instead of at the top because most people's normal hair voluminous 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 a level lit student at the top and then kind of like tapers in and I was never that girl I never understood it all throughout my high school life I was like why does my hair get wider like normal people's hair in mine out it just doesn't work but now that i've had it cut short i actually kind of think it does work that it's kind of flat to my head i mean it, i mean it could be a bit more like this um but then i like that it gets wider like my head my head's huge it's great and i think it definitely looks blonder if i face this way instead of the window can you guys tell that i've had it lightened i I mean, it's not as obvious as last time because last time I had a lot of blonde put through it. So if we compare it to, I'll put a picture on screen of me before I had any dye in like February time. I'm going to put a picture on screen. You guys will be like, oh my God, I forgot it was that dark because I forgot too. And then I looked at a photo. I was like, I've had a lot of bleach put in my hair this year. But I actually low-key really, really like this. I think it's styled really nicely. Obviously, it's very soft from the hairdresser still, so it's not going to hold. However, it is nice and short, um, perfect length for me. And also, I've had it, like, tidied up. I didn't have a massive amount cut off it because I did only go for a haircut in June. And I don't want to keep chopping it because i'm very aware of that one day i won't be able to grow my hair long so i'm so in two minds all the time between having my hair back a really long length like i'll put a picture on screen of how my hair used to be absolutely ridiculously long to a point where i think it kind of drowned me like my face looked lost because i was such a mess of hair but then i'm also very aware that one day i won't be able to grow it that length again so i'm like do i want long hair but i think this is the length that just suits me the best really so yeah my amazing hairdresser has done it again and I love it and I'm definitely going to try keeping it in better condition. Last time it kind of just went a bit sun dried because obviously I'm fortunate enough to have been on quite a few holidays this summer which I'm so lucky and I'm like really really happy that I did obviously but the sun did dry my hair out like I'm not gonna lie my son bore the brunt of that because my son bore the brunt of it my child my hair bore the brunt of the sun because I don't look after it properly when I'm on holiday tie it up in a top knot that's pretty much it for like the full week because I just can't be bothered it's too hot to be severe conditioning your hair um so yeah I, I wasn't looking after it properly but now yeah I'm just really really happy with it so I've got changed. I got this today. I bought this last night. Well, not last night, yesterday from Topshop. Um, and I got it on next day delivery and I thought, hmm, that might go for the meal. So I'm going to wear this tucked into these jeans. And I feel like right now I look like such an art student. Like, you know how I'm starting art college in like 10 days. I feel like this is, I mean, I don't want to touch it because it's so white and I've got like, um, eyeshadow on my hands but yeah i definitely think this is giving me like a oh yeah i do art vibe like look and i don't really think that's me to be honest that like, i'm trying to make it me because obviously going to art college but i'm not indie and i know this isn't indie but like mm, i think it looks kind of cool i also bought some trousers from topshop which i will show you in a second and i 
jacket which is downstairs and also some earrings which I need to put in. Where are they? Let's put the earrings in. Where have they gone? Hmm, maybe I didn't bring them up. But yeah, this is what it looks like generally. I actually really quite like this. I think it looks cool, smart, casual. It's a good vibe. So I haven't taken them out of the packet yet, but these are the trousers. I did contemplate wearing them with the shirt, but I think because they're kind of like um, baggy, they're not tapered, that it would just be too much. But I have put in my new hoops. They look like this. I'll leave a link to everything down below. And these definitely complete the art school vibe because now I've got like edgy hoops in and I just look very, I don't know, kind of a different style, but a style that I definitely like that I'm just not sure if it suits me, but. What are you doing again? <laughs> The slime's back. Slime is back. So we are now back home and I have on a jumper that I haven't worn yet. Uh, it is a fake, definitely fake, because this would have been expensive if it was real. Fake Tommy Hilfiger jumper, which I bought in Greece because- is it fake? Well, actually it was 50 euros, which is about 45 pounds, which is a lot for a fake, but I really liked it and it doesn't look or feel fake, but it is fake because the label inside it isn't real. You've got on a real Hollister jumper though, that's not fake. Um, we are having drinks now in the garden. We have a patio heater basically, which means that we can kind of like sit in the garden even when it is cold, although it's cold. <laughs> even with the heater on, it's still freezing. Really? Yeah, I, I personally would rather be sat inside, but whatever. Um, so we have just got some drinks. I have a, I was gonna say, I have an Echo Falls spritzer because um, I don't really like wine, but I also didn't fancy a cider. So I got a wine spritzer, which was like four oh. quid, so. Also, my camera's doing something weird, and I'm so sorry about the really annoying background noise because Harry can't open a bottle properly. I, I just opened the bottle, it just hit the, the lid, hit the floor. Yeah, and it's annoying. What? It's annoying. Okay, guys, so it is now the next morning and I'm gonna end the vlog here. I didn't end the vlog because we were sat outside until quite late last night. Basically, Tom was around and his parents were around and we were having drinks and stuff and we were sat on the patio and I just didn't end the vlog. So, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, smash a huge thumbs up. I hope you liked seeing my hair and how it was like transformed. I mean, it doesn't look, I'm saying it doesn't look massively different, but I can't really remember what it looked like yesterday. Just looked at a picture of it before and after and it did look very yellow. So, if nothing else, the toner has worked wonders because um, it doesn't look yellow anymore so that's good um but I'm, I'm gonna end this vlog here so be sure to give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it subscribe if you're new around here and i'll be back on i think monday with a drive with me and then i've got vlogs going up next week while i'm away because basically i go to center parks on monday for a week with my friends from school there's like 14 of us going um so it's gonna be a crazy week and I, i'm gonna vlog it but i'm gonna do two vlogs instead of like five it would just take up so much of my time and i do want to have a good time with my friends and it's like the last time i'm gonna be like seeing a lot of my school friends everybody's moving out of town um, but I do want to film it, I do want to remember it, so I'm going to split it into two vlogs, so like Monday, Tuesday in one, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in another. So the vlogs might be a little bit sparse, there might not be as many videos go up, um, in quick succession next week and over the next couple of like 10 days or so. Better with me, they are coming, but if you want anything else to watch, I have uploaded a lot over the summer, so you could definitely go back and catch up on the ones you've missed. But I will be back on Monday with a drive with me, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all at 6pm on Monday. Bye! Love.